Well, there's no better way to help Hampton Roads than getting involved with local charities. Here to tell us how easy it can be is Rita Earnhardt, Community Involvement Coordinator with Bayport Credit Union. Rita, how can a person or a corporation get more involved? Well, first of all, you need to decide on something that you associate with or that you have a passion for. Okay. So if you really like kids, the Boys and Girls Club is nice. If there's an illness in the family, like Alzheimer's, right. by um, volunteering with the Alzheimer's Association, uh, you find out you're not alone mm -hmm. with this disease, and then you also find out a lot of resources. But if you want something more broad-based, yeah. maybe the United Way is a better way to go. Okay, so once you've kind of chosen uh, a specific organization to work with, what's the next step? Give them a call. Okay. Uh, by giving them a call, uh, you're going to find out what their needs are. Mm -hmm. It may be something like fundraising, mm -hmm. or it may be something simple like planting flowers, painting a, a playground, mm -hmm. reading a book to a child, or even something even more simple like volunteering one day a month to deliver food mm -hmm. to the elderly. Right. I kind of want to touch on that, too, because I think a lot of people are concerned they might not have a lot of money to give to a charity or an organization. What else can people donate? Well, first of all, you need to realize that everybody has talents and skills. Mm -hmm. It could be organizational skills. You might have the ability to encourage people. Mm -hmm. Read a book to a child. Right. All of these things have value. Yeah. Rita, how has Bayport made a difference in Hampton Roads? Uh, well, I'm very proud to say that I work for an organization that uh, has a heart for the community. Mm -hmm. And they feel like they need to give back to the 13 areas that we have branches. So we do things across the gamut. We may do something simple like um, a little league uh, team, baseball okay. team. Or we may do a one-day event like a day of caring where we go to the YMCA and work and oh. volunteer a time. Or our executives and managers volunteer every Thanksgiving and they partner with the food bank and they serve 250 children and their families. And then we do larger things like uh, with the American Red Cross. We're the largest contributor to the Alzheimer's Association on the peninsula. Wow. So it's just so broad-based. Wow, that's fantastic. Now, I know you have an event coming up, Relay for Life. That is correct. On June 4th, our relay team will be at Todd Stadium on the peninsula okay. for the relay walk. Uh, our relay team has been in existence for 10 years, wow. and to date we have contributed over $250,000. So we invite everyone to come out and look for the Bayport uh, campsite yeah. and join us. And I strongly encourage people to come out at 5 o'clock okay. to see the Survivor's Walk. This is inspiring and it will change your life. Fantastic. Well, thanks for joining me today. We'll link all of that information to our website on the HamptonRoadShow.com. Thank you.